let's let's play this game well okay yeah i can also play justice for all and trials and tribulations we're going to be starting with the original the one the only the one of three this is a trilogy <laughs> the first turnabout oh god this looks interesting no yes yes let's play it the hair <laughs> i was more looking at the centered mole on that one guy's forehead but oh <laughs> voice acting time love visual novels oh god that's incorrect that was a lie <clears throat> damn it why me i can't get caught not like this Ooh, the music I i've got to find someone to pin this on someone like him oh god I'll make it look like he did it. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that's what we love to see there. That's what we love to see. Uh, oh, I don't want- I do not want my mouse to be captured. I feel like this is- uh, I don't know. Actually, no. This is my personality. You can see my personality through the mouse. August 3rd, 9- 9.47am. I have problems with numbers. This is gonna be hard. District Court Defendant Lobby number 2. All right. Boy, am I nervous. <laughs> Phoenix, that's us, that's us, buddy, that's us. Right. Ooh. Oh, h hi, Chief. Damn, she's got fashion. Fashion sense. Ooh, I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you. And your client as well. Jeez, is she psychoanalyzing us? I don't like that. <laughs> um, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? You mean, you knew the defendant before this case? Yes. She's so hot. Actually, I kinda owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. Yeah, he sounds totally unbiased. Huh? <laughs> I don't know court stuff. Is he supposed to be unbiased? <laughs> I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. It's over. What? My life, everything, it's all over. Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. Oh, wait, is my client the guy with the spiky hair? Death, despair. Oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. It sounds like he wants to die. Wow, you're an eagle-eyed observer, ma'am. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> uh, yeah. <sighs> Nick! Oh, look at him. Hey, hey there, Larry. Oh, he's Larry. Dude, what? <laughs> Look at him. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell them I'm guilty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The energy he is bringing right now. Give me the death sentence. I afraid to die. What? What's wrong, Larry? <laughs> oh, it's all over. I, I'm finished. Finished. Larry, you didn't do it, right? Larry, I, out of character, I saw who did it. I can't live in a world without her. I can't. Who, who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Oh, Nick, you gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? Hmm. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death? The newspapers say it was you. <laughs> yeah, Jesus, Larry. God, Larry. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. Oh, I was hoping I could do something without clicking, but I guess not. We gotta click. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school. <laughs> oh god, Larry. Our school had a saying. When something smells, it's usually the butts. In the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. Oh god. 
He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. He really? Uh, I get he kind of looked like a gangster in that opening, but one thing I can say though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That and I owe him one, which is why I took the case to clear his name. And that's just what I'm going to do. Hell yeah! I know Larry didn't do it. Larry's a good guy. August 3rd, 10 a.m. District Court. Okay, so this is only like 15 minutes after <laughs> what we just did. Larry- Oh god, the world doesn't like Larry, huh? That school had a saying against him. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The, um, defense is ready, Your Honor. Oh god, oh no, that's us. Oh, we look- we sound stupid. We look stupid. Uh-huh. Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Y yes Your Honor, I'm, um, a little nervous. <laughs> Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Oh my god, wait, so it's our first trial and we're defending our best friend from murder? <sighs> okay, and uh, yeah, it's normal. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Thank- thank you, your honor. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances? I think we should have a test to ascertain your readiness. Yes, your honor. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. We're stupid. I understand what's wrong here. We're an idiot. The test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. The defendant. That's the person we are def- Am I the defendant? Or was that the per- That is the def He's the defendant. The defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, your honor. Correct. Oh, thank god. I don't know anything about courtroom etiquette. Literally, do I have to go to law school before doing this or I- Well, I'm fine. Keep your wits about you and you'll be fine. Next question. Okay. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Oh, I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover to cover so many times. It's- wait. Uh-oh. Wait, no. No. He forgot he's drawing a blank. How do you not know the victim's name? Phoenix, I'm absolutely sure you're up to this. You don't even know the victim's name? Wait, this is his best friend since grade school's girlfriend and he doesn't know her name. Oh, the victim. Of, of course I know the victim's name. I, um... Just forgot, temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. How do you not know that? The victim's name is listed in the court record. Just press tab to check it at any time, okay? Remember to check it often. Do for me, please, I'm begging you. Okay. Okay, Maya, I'll do it for you. So I've got my badge, and I've got Cindy's autop autops- I can say words. Cindy's autopsy report. Okay. Cause of death, loss of blood due to blunt trauma, Jesus Christ, okay? No, yeah, that's fine. We're fine. Mr. Wright, who is the victim in this case? <laughs> Cinder block. No, I can't click that. I will be persecuted. I will- I will- oh god. Cindy St- Cinder block. No, Cindy St- <laughs> Was she killed with a cinder block? God, I know how she died, though. The victim's name is Cindy Stone. We saw her get killed with a, a, a little trophy. Correct. Now, tell me, what was the cause of death? She died because she was hit with a blunt object. I know that one. She was struck once by a blunt object. Only once? That was a good whack. Correct. You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. But Jesus, if I didn't know those, I feel like the bar is on the floor. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, this is what I would feel like if I was a lawyer and didn't go to law school. <laughs> a question for the prosecution. Mr. Payne? Yes, Your Honor. 
As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was the statue of the finger. Damn. I feel like that's symbolic. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. Can I just say this music does not match what we are talking about? <laughs> I see. The court accepts it into evidence. Statue added to the court record. Okay, yeah, we should know this. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. Yeah, yeah, I know, I got this. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Okay, yeah, can't bring up stuff that isn't brought to court. That makes sense. Yeah, stop telling me to check the court record. I'm sure I've got it. Should I check it again? Look, the only thing that was added was the thinker. I've got- Chill. Maya, chill. Oh. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Butts, to the stand. Oh, God. Um, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. Hello, I'm here. You were crying over in Canto. So nice of you to stop by, Caster. I hope that maybe this will stop your crying, unless in case you want to keep crying and then go for it. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything. Unfortunate. Uh-oh. Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. Dude, he's on trial for murder. He better keep it under wraps. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's going to jail. <laughs> Larry's going to jail. <laughs> Ahem. Mr. Butts, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Also, tell me if I'm dropping frames, because I just noticed that I'm getting the little notification that says that my frames have been skipped, and that's bad. This is a visual novel. Please tell me I can do it without dropping frames. Hey, watch it, buddy. Oh, God, that's a great first question. He's going to jail. Look at him. We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra and Mark Antony. Oh god. Um, didn't they all die? Oh, it is dropping frames, isn't it? Oh god, god damn it. Let's see. Um, is there any way I can make things easier for my poor computer? Yeah, hope, uh, let's just see. I hope that that's good enough. Because I don't know how to... You save... Oh, it's saving the content. There we go. Didn't they all die? I wasn't dumped. She just wasn't taking my phone calls. Or seeing me. Ever. I am dropping frames. Everything sucks. What's it to you, anyway? It's a visual novel. I hope it's okay. Mr. Butts, what you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna see... We're gonna save what we have. We're gonna save it in the first slot. Save it. Alright. And then we're gonna go to the title screen. Lose any unsaved progress? Well, good, because I just saved, so it's fine. And then... Let's... See... Oh, this just changes the resolution. Oh, so I am screwed. I must... Yeah, I am screwed. I just need to, um... That's volume. Text skip. Let's do s single box skip. That won't change anything important, right? I bet you that's not important. I bet you were fine. I bet you were fine. I like when it's saving. It says don't turn off your computer. I know that, like, that is important information for them to say. But if I turned off my computer while I was saving, then that is kind of my fault. Was generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. Oh, hey, it's time to be illegal. Hey, thanks for stopping by. You are watching at about uh, one frame per second. I hope you like it. Murder your girlfriend? Yep. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. So basically, what's happened, just to catch everyone up, is my best friend is going to is on the stand for murder after his girlfriend dumped him and he's going to jail he's going to be a murderer 
What do you mean, one of them? I know he didn't do it, but he is going to jail. Lies, all of it lies. I don't believe a word of it. No, they're seeing other men. Your Honor, the victim's passport. Okay. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Do I have any evidence to, to bring, or only this guy? Passport added to court record. The victim apparently arrived home from Paris on 7.30 the day before her murder. Ah, uh, I am also going to go to jail. I can't remember these numbers. I don't know how that's possible, but I am going to go to jail. Hmm, indeed. She seems... Or it appears... Oh my god, I'm losing it. Indeed, she appears to have returned the day before the murder. Okay. Dude, no way. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. Oh my god, the first case has sugar daddies. Nice. Daddies? Sugar? Oh god. Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. She took the money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude. We can clearly see what kind of woman this stone was. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? A lovely model lady. With multiple boyfriends and sugar debts and money and gifts. He was dating a sugar baby and didn't know it. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Ooh, that's a loaded line. Right? Hydrate! Okay, I'm gonna hydrate. You can't see because my face cam is off, but um, I'll try to slurp loudly for you. <sighs> Love water. Water's great. <laughs> Right? I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I... Please don't slip on me. Hey, I didn't. Should I wait and see what happens or stop him from answering? Let's stop him from answering. Oh my god, we're drinking more. Good, good. I, I challenge you. I need water. It's good for my system. I'm gonna stop him from answering because I feel like this first trial, she's probably testing me to see how good I am. And if I let him talk, he's probably gonna say something stupid. He looks stupid. So we're stopping him. My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to this case. Oof. It's, it's true, it is! Oh, sorry, I'm, I am drinking water. <sighs> Yummy. Dude, Nick, what do you mean irrelevant? That cheat and she dog butts, are you kidding me? I'm gonna die, I'm just gonna drop dead. Larry! Yeah, I don't have a cap on how many times someone can tell me to hydrate, so... Guess I'm just gonna hydrate more while I- in between talking, I'm just gonna be in water. Yeah, when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Did my screen just go gray? Oh my god. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? Oh, thank you, Judge. I almost just called him Judge Larry. I'm losing it. I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. Yes. Quite. You can do this a hundred times? You have that many channel points? Oh, Jesus Christ. I know that you can put a cap on how many times things are redeemed. I just never thought I had to. Are you gonna make me have to do that? <laughs> the man says a death wish. The judge just told him to shut up. <laughs> oh boy, this is so not looking good. Next question. Oh god, he's still talking. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Uh. Well, did you or did you not? Huh? <laughs> well, maybe I did and maybe I didn't. Larry. Hydrate, guess I'm hydrating, Jesus Christ. Oh no, he went. What do I do? Have him answer honestly or stop him from answering? I feel like this is redeemed cowboy hat. Dude, I don't have a face cam. You just redeemed cowboy hat. I don't have a face cam and I don't have my cowboy hat. <laughs> oh god. Pretend I'm wearing a cowboy hat. Just picture a cowboy hat on Phoenix, okay? <laughs> 
I'm so sorry. More cowboy hat? Jesus, no. Ah. Okay, should I have him answer? I think like, I have to have him answer honestly, because stopping him from answering, this question is directly relevant to the case. I just... I don't know. I don't know. Oh god, I clicked a- Guys, I'm on Google right now, full disclosure. I'm trying to find a photo of a cowboy hat to put on Phoenix, and I accidentally clicked a website for cowboy hats, um, and I don't want to be looking at it anymore. I'm just gonna have him answer, honestly. I know. I'll send him a signal. A sig- Is this normal courtroom behavior to have signals that you can send people? Oh god, we're gonna- He's going to jail. He's going to jail. Um... Yeah, let's send him a signal, sure. <laughs> Tell the truth. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was there. I went. Aha, uh -huh. see? We got him to tell the truth. And now, let's see if he goes to jail. Oh, uh, yeah, I made the wrong choice. Order. Well, Mr. Butts? Dude, chill. Uh, she wasn't home, man, so like, I didn't see her. Objection. Objection? Why'd he say it like that? Your Honor, the defendant is lying. What? I told him to tell the truth. Why would he lie? Why would he lie to me like that? Kim, what's your favorite thing about uric acid? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Lying. The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Okay. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body. Oh, see, guys, I'm sorry. I've seen enough uh, Among Us in my time to know that this, uh, this what am i trying to say i've seen enough among us in my time to know that the person that found the body is not free from suspicion yes it's sus is sus is the word i'm looking for yes sus anyway just before making the gruesome discovery he saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime <gasps> oh my god Dude, I can't actually figure out how to add photos to this. I know I've done it before, but I haven't streamed in three months. <laughs> I do not like the people watching us. They're creepy as heck. Order. Order in the court. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Oh, God. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, God. Larry did it. Yep, Larry did it. He's going to jail. We might actually know out of character, but he is going to jail. <laughs> this is bad. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Okay. Plain. Er, please bring Mr. Frank Sawit to the stand. Is this the guy who killed- <gasps> This is the guy that killed her! This is the guy that killed her! Oh, uh, ooh. Mr. Sawit, you sell newspaper subscriptions, is this right? Wait, is that not a mole on his head? That's just a mark. Oh god, I feel like an asshole. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. Newspapers, yes. What? Why is he doing the little shimmy thing with his shoulders? You may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. I'm so bad at reading everything out loud. Witness testimony. Oh, God. My computer loved that animation. Witnesses account. Okay. Yes. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must just be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked in inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there. A woman, not moving. Dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who ran was without a doubt the defendant sitting right over there. Oh god, this guy, why is he smiling? Just talking about finding a dead body. He's a psychopath. He killed her. 
Hmm. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during the blackout? That's a good question, Judge. Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone Mr. Sawit used was one of those. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for your perusal. Okay, electricity to Miss Stone's building was out from noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. Alrighty, good to know. Now, Mr. Wright, oh, hold on, before you talk to me, I'm looking at my court record. Looking at my court record. Time of death, somewhere between 4 and 5 p.m., according to the autops autopsy report. Which actually means she wouldn't have been dead at 1 p.m. when the guy said that he made the phone call. Okay, let's see if that's something I can use. Let's see if that's anything. Yes, uh, yes, your honor? You may begin your cross-examination. Oh god, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I know, it's fine, I went to law school. Cross-examination, your honor? No, Phoenix, you have to know what you're doing. I don't, you're the lawyer. All oh, right, right, this is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? <laughs> Why, you exposed the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies? What? He was lying? Phoenix. Your client is innocent, right? And then that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really guilty? No. How do I prove he's not? He isn't. You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. That's what I just did. I'm a lawyer. I should go to law school. I'm perfect. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness testimony. Then, once you've found the contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. <gasps> yeah! Okay, I like Maya. I like her style. Um, okay. Open the court record with tab, then point out the contradictions in the testimony. Okay, that's what I just did, but I'm going to do it anyway. Witness's account. I was going door to door selling subscriptions and I saw a man flee his apartment. Okay, actually I don't have anything in the evidence to dispute that, so. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it's strange I look inside the apartment. Okay, this is all recaps. Found myself unable to go inside. Blah blah blah. This is what I thought was wrong. 1 p.m. Here we go. Loss of dead, 4 to 5 p.m. Yeah. The, the time that the power was out should be fine. But the time of death seems wrong. That's all of it. Okay. There must be a contradiction. There is. There is. No, I got it. I looked at the court. I looked at the tab. I know what it is. No, I know... Okay, I know what it is. If I... <laughs> oh no, that's not what I meant to do. God. <laughs> I don't know. He just seems strange to me. That's all. That's not what I meant to do. He was mad and frightened. Just like a criminal fleeing the scene of the crime. Okay, no, this it really isn't what I wanted to click on. God. Conjecture. When this is means the man he saw looks suspicious. Okay. Okay, okay, I know what's wrong. I got this. I got it. I got it. I'm gonna skip to the part that we are supposed to talk about. Okay, um, and now... Q. 1 p.m. Are you certain? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Hmm. He seems really confident. No, no, look at the court rip. Look at the court record. Time of time of death. Four to five. Okay. See, maybe this would work if I knew how to play this game better. 1 p.m. Right. Doesn't that seem strange to you? Present some evidence to contradict him. Okay, yes. Um, tab. Present. 
Time of death. This one, yes. Uh, e, present. Objection. I have evidence. I got the evidence. You found the body at 1 p.m., you're sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. <gasps> Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death is sometime after 4 p.m. <gasps> there was nobody to, um, no body to find at 1 p.m. Hey! How do you explain this three hour gap? Uh. Oh, that. Oh, uh. Objection. This is trivial. The witness has merely forgot the time. No, it's a f no, that's a- this is not a trivial. Trivial? Yeah, he's with me. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Sawit, why were you so certain you found the body at 1 p.m.? I- uh, well, I- gee, that's a really good question. Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot. Yeah, that's all you have to do. Point out the contradictions. Okay, I can do that. Lies always beget more lies. Okay, yeah. See through one and their whole story falls apart. So that's why- okay, that seemed pretty easy, but- oh, oh no, it's not over. Wait, I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? Okay. And I will just break your testimony again. Time of discovery, let's go. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. That's an insane thing to say, but okay. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Okay. Hmm. I see. You heard a voice saying the time on a taped program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Right. You know what to do. I've got this one. Do I have got this one? Do I have got this one? You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. Okay, that's what he just said. Let's look at... Um... Uh, is there any way for me to look at... My... Oh, see, I just opened the options menu because I was nervous. Okay, how do I look at... How do I look at the evidence without opening... It was three hours off. How do I look at the evidence? I was watching a video of a tape program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. I wish I knew how to play this game better. Uh, maybe we'll just press Q here. Hold it. Are you sure it was a television and not a radio? What? How is that my angle? Why did I pick that? Why did I say the radio? There was no radio on the premises. There's only one large television. Right, I can't put my finger on it, but something about this seems fishy. Okay, let me look at the court record now. Let me look at the court record. Cause of death, four to five. The thinker. She has Paris. Oh, electricity was out. Electricity was out. It can't have been the television. Ho, ho, ho. This is why, see? This is why they tell you to look, because some people are stupid like me. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. I think. He must have been launching a taped program. Um... Do I not know what videos are? He doesn't know what videos are. Okay, okay, okay. I think I got it, I think I got it. Um... I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. We're gonna say a voice saying the time it was probably coming from the television. Tab to present. And we're gonna present that the electricity was out. Now let's hope this works. Objection. Hold it right there. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. Aha, I caught him, I caught him. You couldn't have heard a television or a video. Oh, this is so outdated. <laughs> Gah! I, well... 
work. The defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sawit? No, I... I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. Oh, look at him sweating. Crow Dolly is raiding with a party of eight? Thank you so much. I said Crow Dolly, right? That's normal. That, that, that's a normal pronunciation. Thank you so much. <laughs> I haven't streamed in three months, so it's very cool to have gotten some support from you. Thank you so much. Um... Everyone, I will make sure to check your uh, channel out after this. Thank you. It's so nice of you. <laughs> I hope you have a good night, and I hope your stream went well. Uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna continue with the acing. The way the acing worked. It, um... Basically, I just caught this guy in his own lie. I've never played this game before. I'm losing frames, but hey, it's a... It's a story game. Nope, that's not the word. What's the word? It's a visual novel, so who cares? <laughs> Enjoy the story, love the game so far. Yeah, I'm liking it a lot. I feel very smart. It has a way of making me feel smart, even though I didn't go to law school. Alright, so we just caught this guy lying. There was a blackout when he said the TV was on. And there's no way she could have been watching a taped video, because I guess movies and did not exist at the time. And VHS tapes or CDs. DVDs, that's the word. Let's go. <laughs> ah! Oh, wait, I remember now. Mm-hmm, likely story. Mr. Sawit, the court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. See, I like this judge guy. I like him. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. That, and you seem rather <laughs> distraught. Hi. Oh, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Rohan, hello. So nice to see you. Neptune, what you up to? <laughs> I like that it gives a first time chat from viewer notification. I don't I don't remember that being a thing. Um My goodness. Crow Dolly is followed. Thank you so much. I'll and as I said, I'll definitely check you out after this. <laughs> Look at this guy squirm. I love to see it. We love to see this guy squirm. <laughs> Look at his face. M my apologies, Your Honor. It, uh, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Yeah, I'm sure that's why you're smiling so much. Because you're sad about finding a body. Very well, Mr. Sawit. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Alright, and we'll poke a hole in it again. It's full of holes. It's holy. You're only a chapter ahead of me. I just saw... A warning if you tap any of the VODs. Okay, thank you. I don't want spoilers. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. A clock? Dude, it was not... You are stupid. That must have been what I saw. Saw it. I'm gonna... I, I don't know. I can't threaten you in a courtroom, but... Oh, ho, ho, I'm gonna get you. You saw a clock? I guess that would explain it, if the clock was off. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. I got it. I got it. Hearing the time. Hearing the time. You didn't hear the time. Or see it. The murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. I know you didn't. Because this is the murder weapon. It's a statue in the shape of the thinker. Objection. objection. I like my objection. See, I was making fun of the way that the other guy said objection, but I say it good. It's a good, strong objection. Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was this statue. Now how is this supposed to be a clock? <gasps> More like she got clocked in the head. But um, so. His bad hair. Y you with your objections and your evidence. Just who do you think you are? I'm literally the defense lawyer. <laughs> Just answer the question, Mr. Sawit. Hey, I, I I, saw it there, okay? That's a clock! Oh, I, hey, at least he's sticking to it. <laughs> Hi, Ymir, my beloved. <laughs> Why, Mir? Your honor, if I, if I may, they're both sweating, oh my god. 
Everyone's sweating in this courtroom besides this judge. Yes, Mr. Payne? As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch, you just tilt it and it says the time aloud. No way. N wait, actually? As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. Wait, no way, it's a clock. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Oh, that just tore a hole in my in my defense. Well, Mr. Wright? It appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Let me look at the court record. Did they update it to say it's a clock? No, it didn't. Okay, just, just checking. Do you have any problems with this testimony now? Uh, let's say yes. I gotta find a better answer. There's a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Wait, is that true? Yet the witness testified he never entered the apartment. Well, that that I knew could have been wrong, because he said he tried to use her phone, and her phone was in the apartment, but anyway. <laughs> Clearly a contradiction. Hmm, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock, because he... Ooh, wait, do I know enough to say that he knew the victim? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna save. I know this is, like, a bit of a, a bitch move, but I'm gonna save, because I want to say that he knew the victim. He knew the victim! Tell me, isn't it true that you knew the victim? In fact, you were one of her sugar daddies. Be frank with us, Mr. Sawit. <gasps> oh my god, this is exactly what I wanted to say, but do we have anything to back this up? Hmm. Frank? I'm always Frank. 69? Oh, thank you so much for the cheer. I hope you're having a good time. <laughs> thank you so much, 69. Hey. <laughs> Your honor, we have complete records of the victim's relationships. Mr. Frank Sawit does not appear anywhere. Huh? Oh, really? Please, Mr. Wright, is how the best response you can muster up? Oh, no. Yeah, Kinar, this case deals with sugar daddies. Try to refrain from making off-the-cuff accusations in the future. Yes, your honor. Let me think this over. The witness knew it was a clock because he... Okay, went into the apartment. You're lying. No. Hold on. I didn't mean to do that. We're gonna load our previous save because I don't want to call the guy a liar again. I am a wimp. Okay, wait, okay, that, I did click the correct option then. You're lying! <laughs> you were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh yeah? Prove it. Prove I went in there. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. Oh my god, Phoenix. Chill. You struck her with the clock and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Oh my god, wait, see I like the courtroom having discussions like that. If, um, if it's about something I said. Order in the court. No, disorder in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. <gasps> I did it, I think. Mr. Sawit. The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. <gasps> You redeemed hydrate? Oh my goodness, I'm, I've been hydrating so much, but it's okay, it's good. He is so intense, this is great. <laughs> that voice was burned into your mind. Oh my god. That's why you were so certain about the time. Objection! What, what, what's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. <laughs> Grah! That's the noises he's making, I'm just saying them. I'm just making them. Would the witness care to elaborate? Oh, thank you so much for the follow! <laughs> Hope you have a good stay. Did you strike the victim with the clock? I... I... That... That day... I... I never... Look! I... The clock I heard... No! I mean... I saw... Saw... Oh my god, wait, he threw his wig at me! <laughs> Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! I hate you! Oh my god, what? It, it was him, I tell you, I saw him! 
What was that about a sugar daddy? Wow, y'all just keep talking about this. This guy, I think, was a sugar daddy of the girl who died, but apparently when I said that, it was baseless conjecture. Or worse than that. I don't know. Lies. Anyway, I saw him. I saw him. He killed her, and he should burn. Burn. Give him death. Oh my god. What? What? <laughs> Dude, did you really just say that? Oh, wait. Yeah, you can watch a stream. Thanks for coming. First time in three months, and you managed to make it. Order. Order in the court. Yeah, uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm about to put this guy in jail. And not my friend Larry. Order in the court, I say. Your honor, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright. Your honor. You claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. Ugh, I just burped. <laughs> Do you have any evidence? The whole case is riding on this. I'd better think it through carefully. Okay, let's look at our- let's look at- My badge. No, I doubt that's evidence. Loss of blood due to blood and trauma. The shape of the hanker- thinker. God damn it. It's heavy. No promises. Hi, everyone. <laughs> the victim apparently arrived home from Paris. I don't have anything to prove what I am saying. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna- He's going to jail. Y your honor. The sound Mr. Sawit heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply... Um... Why would I examine the clock's batteries? Uh, God, wait, okay, hold on. See, now I'm being a bitch again. I have to save this data. I need to save this. It, the whole case is riding on me getting this right. Let's... Why did I do that? Okay, let's go back to the game. Why would I ever ask the neighbors? Is it that loud? Why also would I examine its batteries? Let's try sounding the clock. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for the cheer of the bits. <laughs> it's uh, clear if you simply try sounding the clock. Let's sound the clock here in this court. Your honor, may I have the clock? I ask the court to listen very carefully. I really hope it makes noise. Beep. I think it's 8.25. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. It said it thinks it because it's... A, it's the thinker. You want gifts and companionship? Wait, are you just arguing about wanting a, a sugar daddy in my chat? <laughs> or a sugar mama? Big fan, ooh, ooh thank you. <laughs> um, wait. No, no, no. Neptune should be able to have a sugar mama if if Neptune wants a sugar mama. It's certainly a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker after all. See, he's so smart. Phoenix, you're so smart. So we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25. <gasps> the clock was three hours off. Ack! <gasps> yes, I got it. As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. You're being judged. <laughs> Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Sawit heard and the actual time of death. Also, would you guys want chat on screen? Just let me know. I don't have it up for this game because I feel like there's a lot going on, but anyway. So, Mr. Sawit, try to talk your way out of this one. He clearly used that clock. Ha! Ha ha! You forgot one thing! Uh oh, what's he talking about now? While it may seem like that clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. Uh, he's right. How am I going to prove that? Damn it, I was so close. Uh, I don't think I have anything in the court record to prove. Uh, I don't know. Okay, let's just keep going. Mr. Wright? It seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yes, your honor. This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Oh, balls. Unfortunately, this ends the cross-examination of Mr. Frank Sawit. Oh no, I've done something wrong. Oh, I got so close. I went so far. And in the end, it didn't even matter. I'm sorry. I just can't believe I... 
I tried so hard and got so far. No, 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 no. I come all the way down here to testify and look what happens. You throw your wig at me and almost go to jail. You treat me like a criminal. A criminal! You lawyers are all slime. Uh, I almost had him. Oh god, oh god. Sorry, Larry, I failed you. No, wait, there has to- Can I actually fail the case? Is there- Oh, uh, my phone just told me I'm driving. Why does it think I'm driving? <laughs> Wait, I have back seating on. If anyone can tell me if I'm if my friend is going to jail, I'd like to know so I can reload my save. Should I have checked the batteries or asked the neighbors? Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. There's nothing I can do about it now. Oh god. Wait, no, is he is Larry going to jail? Not so fast, Mr. Sawit. I can fail cases. Nice. <gasps> Mia! Mia to the rescue! Mia! I mean, Chief! Or Mia or Maya. I don't know which one it is. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow, and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason and you'll have your proof. Right, right? Right, right. Can you think of a reason as to why the clock would be three hours slow? Yes, I have to say yes. Wait, maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright? Oh my god, wait. How could I have this? How do I have... Oh god. Okay, 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 okay. Well, Mr. Wright? You say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course! God, you are talking out your ass. Is this what being a lawyer is? There's a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Ha, huh, tough words. Let's see you pull this one off. Let's see this evidence that proves why the clock was running slow. Oh my god. Could I- It's an electronic clock. The clock can't be evidence, I don't think. The passport- Uh. The, can I say the passport is the reason it's slow? Does that make any sense? Oh god, I'm... I'm dying. I'm dying here. Yeah, I love that y'all just having fun in the chat right now, and I'm literally, like, in the mindset of my best friend is going to jail if I don't figure this out. So the blackout record shouldn't affect the clock. The autopsy report shouldn't have anything to do with the clock, I don't think. So it's between the statue and the passport, which we haven't used yet. I'm just gonna present the passport. I'm presenting the passport. Or not the passport, the statue. Um, excuse me, this proves your claim? How? I can't see what ev the evidence has to do with that clock. Ah, uh, that wasn't it. One more chance, just give me one more chance. Alright, Mr. Wright, but time is not on your side. Be quick about it. Let's see this evidence that proves why the clock was running slow. Okay, um... I don't- know. I can't think. There's no thinking. Passport. The victim had just returned from abroad, the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. So? When it's 4 p.m. there, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. What does that mean, Phoenix? The clock wasn't three hours slow, it was nine hours fast. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. Wait, is that actually- Wait, that's actually good. He found it out. I think. Yeah, you guys aren't helping. You're just <laughs> arguing with each other in the chat. <laughs> that's why you- That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in her apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Sawit? Or should I say, Mr. Did It? Oh, I love this guy. <laughs> oh, God. Ah! Look at that heavy panting. Oh my god, what? Did he just pass out? Order! Order, I say! 
Oh my god, did I do it? Well, this case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Payne, your witness? He, uh, he was arrested and will be taken away, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Wright? Y yes Your Honor? I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly. And find the true culprit at the same time. Yo, I did it! Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality. But... The court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts. Not guilty! Let's go, baby! I did it. And with that, this court is adjourned. Yo, wait, I did it. I saved my friend. It turns out that Frank Salvet was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house. That day, when Mary went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. For real, so he didn't lie. After he left, Mr. Sawit let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sawit grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. Everyone has pun names? A, hey, that's nice. Okay, so later in the day... Cool, cool, cool. Whew. I still can't believe we won. Right. Good job in there. Congratulations. Th thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all. Not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've been a trial end on such a satis- I've seen a trial end or been- I clicked past that too fast. <laughs> I've never seen the Chief looking this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. My life is over! Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Aw, Nick! Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon! Larry, what? Good. Wait, no. I mean, bad. Bad, bad, bad! Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But, but my Cindy Wendy's gone, man! Gone forever! Larry, she was... Uh, never mind. Congratulations, Harry. His name is not Harry. H Harry? Harry Butts is much a, yeah, it's such a worse name. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts Innocent. Oh god. Oh no. I, uh, thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this, ever. Let's celebrate. Dinner? Movie? My treat. Are you asking her out? Oh no, I, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Why would- Uh, Larry's stupid. Hey, he here, take this. It's a present. That's a murder weapon. Why do you have the murder- A present for me? Wait, wasn't this the evidence that- <laughs> Actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. But really? You? You made this? Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. This is insane. Rip Larry. Yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And she was just playing me for a fool. Don't that just make you want to cry? <laughs> Larry... Are you so sure? Excuse me? Oh no, I'm gonna die. I can't believe this game. I think she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me. It's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing. Really? Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? Huh? Oh yeah, right. 
What the heck is she talking about? Am I supposed to give her the time of death? No, I'm just gonna give her back the- I'm gonna give him the statue. I guess. Take that. Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. Huh? What about that clock? That she kept it! This is the clock you made for her, Larry. And she took it with her when she traveled. <laughs> Whatever. She probably just needed the clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Well, make it- make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks. Hope that made him feel a little better. Aw, right? I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Maya. Right? Listen. Learn. Grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Oh my god. Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. Say, how about dinner? On me. With- with her? We'll drink a toast to innocent butts. Yeah! Hell yeah. Let's go, Phoenix. Oh, speaking of Harry, you were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Uh, yeah, part, at least. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks? Is she asking me out? Is she asking me out? Is she asking me out? And so my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. <laughs> oh, Larry. But I'm pretty sure he's not gonna pay us. Unless you count the clock he gave Maya. I didn't know that then, but that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. Oh my god, wait, is Mia gonna die? And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. Wait, so is, is, is the chief gonna die? Wait. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm at the edge of my- <laughs> I'm at the edge of my seat, what the hell? A brand new episode's been added, oh I'm sure it has! Did I just click on it? I didn't mean to. Save your progress up to this point? Yes, I do want to, but also I don't want to play another one, I don't think. Because, I don't know man, it's- I can only do so much. <laughs> I haven't streamed in a while, man. Uh. Don't make me do this. Don't make me do this. Hold on. I'm doing what everyone does when they don't want to play a video game anymore and it won't stop talking, which is crashing the game. I'm smart. I am good at game. I am good at game. Yes, I am. <clears throat> uh, anyway. That's all for me! Hey, wasn't that a smooth transition? I got this in the bag. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna drop us- I'm gonna drop us off at another stream of somebody else playing this, if I remember how to raid people. Um, and it's going to be wonderful. Thank you so much to everyone who stopped by today. I didn't have very high hopes because I haven't streamed in a very long time, but this game is actually really, really charming. And uh, watching it, or playing it, should I say, I wasn't watching. Playing it was actually very fun and satisfying. And I just didn't pressure myself to do voices or anything. I just had a good time. So I hope you also had a good time. And I hope you come back soon, or at least the next time I stream. Uh, but yes, thank you to all of you who came, who followed. And again, let's make sure to check out um, Crow Dolly for dropping some viewers off by me. That was very nice of them. And uh, yeah, we're gonna raid Me Charts. I don't know Me Charts, but let's give them a fun welcome. 